This textile tells a really interesting story about a very specific moment in late medieval Spain, around the turn of the 15th century. Luxury woven silk lampas textiles like this one were produced in the Nasrid kingdom of Granada, which was the last Islamic kingdom to rule in Spain before the expulsion of the Muslims in 1492. And this textile is one of a group of five surviving fragments that once formed a pair of late medieval Spanish liturgical vestments, um, which are garments that would have been worn by um, a bishop or a deacon during the Christian mass. The other fragments that once constituted this pair of liturgical vestments are held in important collections in Europe. One full um, tunic-like section similar to this one is held in the Musée des Arts Décoratifs in Paris. Another fragment is held in the Cluny Museum in Paris as well. Um, there is a fragment in the Kunstgewerbe Museum in Berlin, and there's also a fragment in the Musée des Tissus in Lyon. And based on stylistic and technical analysis, and as well as the provenance of these fragments, we know that they must have been made from the same textile and likely almost certainly formed a very luxurious pair of vestments that would have been used in the context of a Christian mass at the turn of the 15th century in Spain. So um, some of the iconography on this textile points to the kind of multicultural or transcultural nature of this object. So an example of that is um, are these pseudo-calligraphic palmettes that you see um, in this diaper design um, running horizontally across the garment. So we know that these kinds of textiles and the technique of, of weaving silk lampus has its origins in Islamic workshops in Nasrid, Spain. But other elements interestingly point to a Christian context for the production of this textile. In particular, the, the rampant lions that make up the main decorative element of the design might refer to the, the heraldry that you see in the context of the Christian kingdom of Castile and Leon, where the lion is really the symbol of the Christian monarchs that rule Spain before and then after the expulsion of the Muslims from, from Spain. And so, we know that these textiles were very popular um, in Spain from the 14th century to the beginning of the 16th century, but there's also evidence that they were exported outside of Spain. And the evidence for this is a really wonderful painting by Giovanni Bellini that's held in the collection of the Academia in Venice. And this painting was begun in 1605 and then completed later by a member of Bellini's workshop. But what makes it really remarkable is that in this biblical scene of the Lamentation of Christ, the figure of Mary Magdalene is wearing a silk lampus textile that's almost identical to the one that you see here. And this is evidence that these textiles enjoyed sort of um, a popularity and a vogue outside of Spain. So there are about 30 published examples of variations on this design in collections that have been exhibited worldwide, um, but none of them really reach or approach the sensitivity of design, the fineness of the silk, or the size, frankly, of the fragments that, that survive here. And this is really the last textile of this quality that remains in private hands. Thank you.